I absolutely love jumpsuits and when I saw Simplicity 9700 in the store, oh, I knew right away that I wanted to sew it up. So I have actually already started working on this jumpsuit pattern. I'm working on view A. This pattern is actually a reprint of Simplicity 7310 that came out in 1975. This pattern is rated as average and it really does have a lot going on. There are front pockets and there is one cute little side pocket on the right side of the jumpsuit that I did widen by two inches. I'm using this navy stretch denim fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I decided that I wanted to add back pockets to this jumpsuit so I pulled out one of my other vintage patterns and I took the front pocket pattern piece from that pattern to use as my back pocket pieces for this jumpsuit pattern. I cut out two pocket pieces to add to the back of the jumpsuit. And here I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want the pockets to go. So I have the pockets applied and I just did a flat bell seam right here in the middle and I was just using this lint roller to clean up some of the threads because I have loose threads all over the place. So after I clean up these threads, the next step will be putting the zipper down the front. This is the front of the jumpsuit and you have your facings attached here in the front area. So. I am going to move the facings out of the way. The directions have you fold in 5 eighths of an inch on the front opening edges. And I did that on both sides. Then you just take your closed zipper, place it under the folded edges of the front, close to the zipper teeth, and pin it down. So once you pin the zipper down, something like this here then you will baste it all the way in baste the zipper down to the front of the jumpsuit then you will take your facing pieces and fold them over the tape so that the tape is sandwiched in between the front facing and the front and then you will stitch all the way around all of these three pieces from the top down through the bottom and then back up to the top. So I just used this wash away tape to place along my zipper tape and then I'm going to just place this under the front and stick it down and then I'll be able to do my basting stitches. Okay, so the zipper is sewn in and then now what I'm going to do is flip everything over to the back side or the wrong side and then I'm going to take the facings and pin them to the wrong side of the zipper and then once this is pinned down then I will flip the jumpsuit back over and then do my final stitching and that will catch the facing in the back. Now I'm about to start working on the sleeves. Now when I first looked at this pattern I thought that there was a short sleeve in this pattern, but all of the views use the same sleeve. And I guess to get this look here, you would just fold this sleeve up. Now this sleeve does have a continuous lap. So you mark a little triangle at the bottom, you stitch around it. And then for the continuous lap, you will need to cut out two extra pieces of fabric which are not listed as a pattern piece. They don't come in the pattern. So you have to draw out a line that is one and a half inches wide by seven inches long. And then this will get attached to the little triangle portion of the sleeve that I was showing earlier. So this is just a quick peek at what everything is looking like before the sleeves are added on. And I did use some denim leftover scrap fabric for the facing area. And this is the back. I really like these big pockets. I like the way that turned out. So 
Now I will go ahead and start working on the sleeves to get those on. Just finished sewing the continuous lap on the bottom of both sleeves and now I'm going to pin the sleeve to the jumpsuit and sew right sides together from one edge over here to the other edge on this side. So this is what I have so far. It is really, really long. So I know for a fact that I will have to hem quite a bit off of the bottom. I have the sides pinned. So next we'll be sewing the side seams down. And what else? The middle is still open right here. So I will have to do that and then put the side pocket over here and put the cuffs on the bottom of the sleeves. And this did take quite a bit of fabric. This took over three yards of fabric. So I just tried the jumpsuit on and I am going to have to take off a little over two inches from the bottom hem because it was just really too long. And what I'm doing now is I decided I wanted to go ahead and add some top stitching around the collar. The directions don't say to do that, but when I had it on, I was like, mm, I think I might want that there. So I'm using my backup machine for top stitching. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the top stitching. And then what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to put buttonholes and I still haven't finished the sleeve. So those are the other things that I need to do to get this all finished. This is the side pocket that goes on the right side of the jumpsuit and I'm so glad that I did add the two inches to widen it because now I'm able to get my cell phone in it if I decide that I want to put it in there. So that's pretty cool. I just sewed one cuff on. I need to do the other one. And these are just the marks that I have for the buttonholes. And for the buttons, I just decided to go with these plain navy buttons that I picked up at Joann's. Okay, so now that the jumpsuit is all done, let me give you a little bit of details about what goes into making this pattern. So you have a collar. You also have a zipper that goes up the front. For view A, you have front pockets and then you also have lower front pockets. Now the front pockets at the top, they have a little carrier, I guess you could say, that folds over, a piece of fabric that folds over, and then you put buttons on those. And those will act as loops for your belt to go through. Now, it looks like this calls for a purchased belt, but I decided to go ahead and make a belt from fabric because I had enough fabric left over. I did make my belt a little bit too long, but that's okay, I can always, shorten it at another time. There is a side pocket, which I did mention. There's a lot of top stitching that goes into this garment if you choose to do that. You also have buttons here on the top front flaps, and I just decided to leave those off. You have a sleeve with a cuff. The cuff has a continuous lap, and then you also have to gather the cuff onto the sleeve, and then the cuff has buttonholes in that. So that's everything that went into making this garment. The pants on the jumpsuit are wide leg. I really like that. And I am just really completely happy with the way that this vintage pattern turned out.